Hello, human kebabs. It's album review time, and a genre I was not expecting in 2019. This album is described as rapcore, but what rapcore really means is new metal. But we don't want to call it that. But uh, yes, and it's a big but. Do not let that put you off. This is far more Linkin Park than Il Nino and far more Rage Against the Machine than Limp Bizkit. At Download Festival, singer Jason Arlo Butler came out with a bag over his head like a mistreated prisoner. Then the whole band jump around and create chaos. Good old fashioned chaos. Jumping around, breaking things. It's all fun. The Linkin Park comparison isn't a moot one either. Fever 666 have choruses in spades. Seriously, the innocent is sing-along perfection. Now that Chester Bennington has sadly departed, this is probably the closest we have to his tuneful power. Besides, this is not new metal as it was 18 years ago. Quite. It's as it should be now. All of the good bits, none of the bad bits, with some more modern touches that avoid any sense of sounding dated. Once you get over the initial shock at an album being new metal, it grows on you a lot. There is real energy and power behind every song on the album. Feels like a band with real anger, a real desire to make change, and a real desire to share that with people. The kind of music people wanted from Prophets of Rage before the slightly stale nostalgia fest that they got. Speaking of which, perhaps Denzel Curry should become the new Rage singer. I'd pay to see that. Anyway, back to Fever 888. It's about loud sounds, big words, and making the listener believe that a riot could start at any minute, which if you're watching them live, it probably could. Indeed, if I have a criticism about Fever 000, it's the use of a backing track for their live performances. It slightly spoils the sense of a riot, keeps everything going when it actually would work better to stop and be messed up. Maybe a couple of extra musicians and ditching the backing track would make this even better. Embrace the chaos like at the drive-in. If you are over 25, this is a great album of its type and well worth a listen. If you're 17 or 18, this may be the musical kick up the backside you've been waiting for. I spoke to a lady who told me that her 18 year old son joined his first ever circle pit watching Fever 911 at Download Festival. And that is absolutely what this band is for. To those saying rock is dead, no way. Not if Fever 33 and a third have anything to do with it. And it's new metal that might save it. Who keeps doing that? Anyway, time for an interview with frontman Jason Allen Butler. Hello. Jason? Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Maybe if someone took that bag off your head, you might not fall over all the equipment at your gigs. Alright, that's enough. <laughs>